Gold Spot Discoveries Inc. is the first AI company that focuses on mineral exploration. The private technology company uses machine learning to reduce capital risk while working to increase efficiencies and success rates in resource exploration and investment. Goldspot has developed a monetization strategy into multiple verticals of the mining and investment industry, including service offerings, staking and royalty acquisition, and the development of its own artificial intelligence-driven trading platform. The company was founded in 2016 and is headquartered in Toronto, Canada. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. So this is kind of a unique uh, a new you a new approach and I see you had no trouble raising money well yeah no trouble raising money <laughs> that's a, but you know maybe, it, maybe I um, it, it took a while um, it's a new concept so, right, so it's, 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 it's it's gold spot and you yes. had, there was a uh, a capital markets company that was uh, there was a three was it a three way merger yeah it's called a three cornered amalgamation there was a, uh, a CPC or right. a capital pool company right and uh, we essentially take that over okay so yeah that's a uh, it's an RTO it's a you know, and, fancy and, way and of going do you public. like like a traditional mining company you you have prospective ground etc uh, actually no so we're okay. we're a technology company oh okay uh, okay yeah. this is this is what. <laughs> this is why we're interviewing you. No, I'm, I'm learning, and I'm very interested in, and because of my uh, my age, I'm interested in. I've always sort of followed the the the, the gold, the mining Canada. You know, as a sort of the mining capital. Tor uh, Toronto's the mining capital of the world, or it used to be in terms of raising money. You know, PDAC, et cetera, et cetera. So, so go ahead, tell me about the uh, value proposition here. Yeah, well, so with Goldspot, it's an interesting uh, it's an interesting company. We we formulated the company. I I historically was a geologist working in uh, multiple camps across the globe. Uh, big companies, small companies, and uh, and then I, I transitioned into capital markets with uh, Pine Tree Capital, where I got to see this massive transect of. So of you Pupco's. worked at Pine at, at Pine, Pine Tree? Yeah, with Sheldon. Yeah. For oh Sheldon. no, kidding. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. No, no. Okay. Yeah, I was mining analyst over there. Yeah. No so, kidding. Yeah. 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 I kind of joined late game, but when, you know, when I came into the company, uh, we had over 400 junior mining I, investments. I, I, listen. And it was massive. Sheldon's legendary in the mining <laughs> sector in Toronto. There's no question. For sure. And and PNP, uh, I think, was the symbol. Yeah, PNP, and we cut a we cut a, a big check into a lot of companies, and so I think there was a time, if I if I can interrupt you quickly, where sure. if markets were so hot, anybody who walked in the door, Sheldon, give them a million bucks. I don't know if that's true, you, you know, but. It, um, it was a different approach. It was a different uh, like, climate. I mean, that was uh, that was a fabric of the bull market, yeah, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and a lot of these junior companies went, you know, three to five x overnight. And so, you know, the idea there, and I think the investment strategy was, you know, uh, superior deal flow, and you had a lot of companies coming through the door. And if you could, you know, bet on a lot of ponies, and sure, all it sure. takes is one, you know. So, like what's your these, what's what's your uh, unique approach? Well, we noticed that a lot of companies in this space had uh, collected huge amounts of data. So, uh, over time, we've seen this. Uh, 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 coming, it's, it's called uh, the concept's really called peak discovery or peak gold. And really, what had happened in 2010, uh, the expiration expenditures has really peaked out, and the resulting de deposits that were discovered were few and far between. And so, what was going on right, was that right. um, I, re I remember this. I remember right. this. Yeah. And predominantly, companies were spending huge amounts of data, collecting super sophisticated remote sensing data type, other you know types of data. And really, it was this you know time where all this you know spending was going on. Deposits were getting deeper and deeper and harder to find. And for some reason, we weren't finding very many, even though we were spending the money collecting the data. And so uh, what happened in the last couple of years is that uh, there's been huge inroads in the whole machine learning and AI space in right. other industries. And we're seeing uh, industries ripe with large data sets, leveraging machine learning and AI to find patterns in that data that the human couldn't possibly find. So naturally, you'd assume that mining and, and exploration would be a, a good fit. We have all this data. We've paid a lot of money to collect it. And as an industry, we weren't using it to its full, full, fullest potential to find new deposits. Right. Uh, so so we, uh, we partnered up with a, a team uh, based out of the Institute of National Research in Quebec City called uh, the Data Miners. And uh, together we can, uh, uh, competed in the Integra Gold Rush Challenge, uh, which was uh, uh, Integra launched that challenge at PDAC uh, a few years back. Okay. And that was essentially, um, they opened up their library, their data to the world for everybody to look at and see if they could find um, a, new, uh, a, you know, a new pot of mineralization and there was a, a grand prize for that. So um, long and short of it, 
uh, we, we competed in that challenge and uh, we came in second place using machine learning to find new zones of mineralization. Uh, so that was a, a huge accolade for us and uh, we took that concept and rolled it out and formed Goldspot proper. And uh, now we've been providing this service for a lot of big companies in this space, Yamana, Hochschild, McEwen, Sprott, um, a lot of different entities that have taken us on, opened up their libraries to us to work with to help them find uh, new So deposits. are you, are you going to be generating revenue in your first, like you're, you're just so I get this right, so the, the, if this is just about to be kicked off, you've raised about seven and a half million bucks, correct? Correct. So, so will you be generating revenue in the first 12 months? Absolutely. We've already been generating revenue. Okay. So okay. as a private yeah. company, um, we've grown tremendously since those very early days. Right. So when we started off, we were about four people on the team. Right. And, and where and are you now? 22. So we've grown wow. out and of revenue. Are you, are you based here? Uh, here in Toronto and our technical office is in Montreal. So most of the people are in Montreal. So um, you pretty well know the, 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 who the who's who are in the mining sector. Yep. Pretty much, yeah. yeah, and a lot of them are in our deal, uh, thankfully for us, and they believe in what we're doing, and they believe that um, that AI and machine learning is going to have a big impact on how to found how, how to find gold. But you mean is it mainly precious metals? Everything, you know, copper, uh, copper. It doesn't matter. Base commodity metals. agnostic. Yep, and base metals doesn't matter. The application, the, the methodology, still works. The reason we named ourselves Gold Spot was gold was kind of the biggest, baddest bully in the room. Gold deposits are sure, sure. the the most challenging, most complex of all, and so we decided that if we so can how, be how good many at share, that, how many shares are in your company? Uh, now we're going to be closing with ninety four million shares outstanding. Yeah, ninety four million shares. And where do you where do you see this thing starting to trade at? What price? About forty cents. Yeah. So, so, so ninety million, forty cents. 30 million, 36 million market cap. Yeah, about 37 and a half. And yeah. you're going to have about seven and a half million cash? Uh, we'll have about 10. Okay. So we 10. have three million already. Okay, and okay then, good. Yeah, seven so, and a half. So this is, a, you know, like, unfortunately, mo and I'm not saying this is a judgmental thing, but when I see a company in the mining sector, usually they're underfunded in today's world. But you're, 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 go you're hitting the road running. Right. Well, we've got we've got great great partners, great revenue pipeline with uh, service clients. Can you clients. comment on what you think the revenues will be in the first year? Sure, absolutely. Right now we've got 2.1 million in contracts for this fiscal year with major clients. Yeah. So that's major companies that are just paying us yeah. a service fee to yeah. handle their yeah. data. Can you say um, how many clients you have? Uh, right now, five. Okay. And the list is gr going to be growing. We're yeah. booking out into 2020 uh, already. Right. Um, so it's a really interesting time. There's no debt in the company? There's no debt in the company. That's probably a good thing for a start. start a, uh, Sure. Startup. Yeah. Uh, there's no debt in the company. And really, you don't have any competition, do you? No, not so far. Yeah. And but, we've but taken. You probably uh, will. Yeah. Well, we've taken after 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 a, 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 taken on a couple different aspects of the sector. So one is the exploration side. The other one is the investment side. And so uh, we've built a, a platform we call Resource Quantum Mental, and it's really a quantum mental approach to mining investing. It's, it's a screener. So we've got every shred of data on every public company since 1999 until today, every drill results, every press release, uh, every share that's ever traded, the macro so market information, the financials. Just for, it's just all in this hel database. Help me out here. Tell me, uh, give me three lines to, just two or three lines to describe your company sure and, and as, as the easiest terms possible sure we're the first and only AI mining co uh, AI company in mining uh, we're basically a quant shop that's going to be analyzing right. every single junior issuer out there and picking the the best ponies the pound for pound the best discovery okay. opportunities we're making investments in those companies we're gonna get royalties back and we're bringing our team that's paid for by royalties. Right. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> sure. Well, all the big companies are paying our, our bills. Right. And we're bringing our, this great team that we've assembled of 22 people, nine PhDs, yeah. into these How stories. How many PhDs? To nine. That was, that was my next question. What would be the major skill set of your team? Like, you've got 22 people, you're a geo. Yep. And uh, uh, so the, the nine PhDs, what are their, what are their uh, areas of, uh, especially, of various? Various, but all way smarter than me, I'll say that now. <laughs> but basically, uh, you know, we've, they've all got a very special blend. So whether they're ex they have expertise in um, data, uh, data science and geosciences, so we have geophysicists yeah. with like say yeah. a PhD yeah. in geophysics, yeah. as well as they publish articles in, in machine learning and artificial intelligence. And so they've got this special blend of both. And so our entire team, we've got, 
PhD structural geologists, geochemists, um, we've got uh, geophysicists on staff, we've got the whole bank shoot across the spectrum. So when we get involved with the data set, we take all that data, we reprocess it in-house, we clean yeah. it all up, and then we bring it together and use machine learning. For are, are, is this your brainchild? Uh, yeah. Do you, do you have someone that that you worked like you you, you have a, a huge team? A so huge we've team. we've got so you got from four to twenty two people in how long? Uh, three years. It's very impressive. Yeah, three it's years. Very it's, impressive. It's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. I, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a call. Uh, give sure. me your card. Make sure I have your card. I'm around here and I'm I'm pretty sure. Again, you know, this is a judgment thing, but I think before this whole thing, who knows what, I gotta believe that we're going into a, a, a commodity bull cycle. I think so. Yeah, yeah. It, that, it, that would make things. Well, you know, that's the thing. So if we can build a, a nice basket of equities, mining equities, yeah. with our strategic investment platform, yeah. Yeah. if we can build a, a nice basket of royalties and we can be activist investors where we bring in our team and help make these things better, um, I think we can create a lot of opportunities sure. in the space. And sure. So, yeah. If if we're heading into a bull market, then our portfolio should do quite well. Well, and you know, and, and I and I might listen. If you can get options on companies and and, and for for remuneration and things like that, when when you know, the, the, there's a there's a chart around, and I, I'm trying to find it, where it says that basically junior resource companies, relative to the S and P, are as cheap as they've ever been. Like all like a hundred year uh, low valuations, so so that's when when you want to buy something cheap, you go to where it's you know. Well, you know, it's an interesting time in this space because uh, the audience, the traditional audience that used to invest in mining, um, is really really very fractured. A lot of people, a lot of that community that we used to lean on sure. to support our discovery plays are, are out of the business. Or yeah. They're, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they may it, have ventured into medical marijuana or other things. Yeah, exactly. And there's no, a younger no. generation coming No, no, up. I know. And they don't even know what, what the value of, 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 of uh, minerals and, and sure. base metals, etc. Denny, yep. I'm going to uh, leave it there. I really appreciate you coming on. I've learned a lot today. I hope the viewers have. Thanks. You and I are going to be in touch. Sounds good. All Thanks. right. Thanks very much for having me on. Okay.